Good evening, I'm Keely Van Bittendorf. Here's what's making headlines across the county. Developing news out of Tehachapi, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation says a riot broke out earlier this morning in a yard at the Supermax State Prison located there. CDCR says six inmates were transported to a hospital due to injuries and inmate manufactured weapons were recovered at the scene. Correctional officials say they used chemical agents and quote less lethal foam rounds to quickly bring the riot under control. The incident remains under investigation. Now to the arrest of an off-duty Bakersfield police officer. According to BPD on Wednesday, an arrest warrant was issued for 43-year-old Damian Romero, a local police officer, for the charges of felony vandalism and assault with serious bodily injury. BPD says the charges stem from an alleged incident that happened on July 21st. Romero, while off-duty, was walking his dog when they were both struck by a car and the driver left the scene. Later, Romero located the vehicle nearby and confronted the suspected driver. Romero allegedly assaulted the man, causing non-life-threatening but serious injuries and damaged the man's vehicle. Romero is now on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. And Governor Gavin Newsom announced his plans to address the ongoing water crisis in our state during a press conference earlier today. Newsom said the time has come to invest tens of billions of dollars in water recycling, storage and desalination over the next two decades to shore up its supply as the state gets drier and hotter. The governor wants to boost the annual water supply by nearly 3 million acre feet each year. One acre foot can supply water to about two households. The new proposal doesn't call for any immediate mandatory cuts to water use in cities or on farms. And some good news as far as our drought is concerned, at least for the eastern parts of our state. Monsoonal moisture over the past week has driven the drought down to severe drought. So it's still a pretty substantial drought, but much of that area was in extreme drought as of last week. Unfortunately, we are seeing an expansion of the exceptional drought here in the valley. So in the valley, our drought has gotten worse. It's gotten a little better in eastern Kern. We do have more moisture in the forecast. We'll see that shortly in our mountain seven day forecast. But we see here in the valley is the beginnings of heat wave number three. That'll be as we get into next week. And again, our mountain communities as we get to Tuesday and beyond do see that moisture. Rain chances are back in the forecast. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn23.com.